Hello viewers, we'll be going over silver. In this video, we'll be going over the day-by-day -day probability model, how we find the models, and the forecast model for silver. So back to technical analysis. Today we're up 31 basis points on the one-hour one chart. We are currently on positive MACD, and as for that is the 30 minutes, so let's head to the one-hour chart. So we start to see a convergence on the one-hour MACD. We may encounter resistance on the 200 moving average on the one hour chart. And as we expand out to the four hour chart, we saw a convergence last week on the negative MACD and we are slowly approaching to positive MACD. If we expand out to the daily chart, we see we're still approaching to negative MACD. We rested or we found some support on the 200 day moving average this green line and if we do manage to reverse and head down lower I do count that as our immediate support which is around the price of $17 and for a resistance if we do manage to climb higher the next resistance that I see is around a price of $17.56 we have the 9 day moving average this blue line the 50 day moving average, the orange line, and the 100 day moving average, this red line. And we also have support level around that price. And since we're below support level, that now act as our resistance. So if we were to move up higher, that price movement is roughly around 1.5% to the upside, and to the downside, it is around 1.8% to downside to hit support. So back to the day-by-day -day probability model as the days progress. We have on the seventh day we have a 40, 43% chance for silver to climb higher between 0 and 5%. On the other hand to the downside we have a 43% chance for silver to fall between 0 and 5% and on the extreme case silver will continue to head down lower of 14% chance between negative 5% and negative 10%. Again, this model is now available in the link below, so do check it out. So let's head to the day-by-day -day forecast for silver. So we have one day out, two days out, three days out, four days out, five days out, six days out, and seven days out. So which one of these models we should focus on? Ideally, the model that is the best match to the current trend Right here we have the current trend and below is the trend that I believe is the best match. This trend dates back to May 24th, 2007 to August 20th, 2007. So let me point out why these two charts are similar. So what we have here in the current trend, we start off at the upper Bollinger Band and then we proceeded to dip and touch the bottom Bollinger Band. And after touching the bottom Bollinger Band, once more we touch the upper Bollinger Band somewhat of a double top and then we proceeded to reverse and head down lower and touch the bottom Bollinger Band and right towards the very end we see a slight reversion to the mean nearing the middle Bollinger Band so we have those points there so in the trend in question we start off in the beginning at the upper Bollinger Band let's just mark all the instances where we touch the upper Bollinger Band so we have one at the beginning, one near the middle, and then after touching upper Bollinger Band, we touch the bottom Bollinger Band, and then let's mark all the instances where we touch the bottom Bollinger Band, and then we revert back to the mean right towards the very end. So what we have is one, two, three, four, five points. We also have one, two, three, four, five points. So there's reason to believe that the trends and patterns are the same. The outcome and forecast should be fairly the same. So the model that we just examined was May 24th, 2007 to August 20th, 2007. Back then, silver was up around 1%. If we head back to the day-by-day -day probability model, it coincides with this standard deviation of 43% chance between 0 and 5% in the next coming days. So again, this model is now available in the link below, so do check it out. 
If you enjoyed this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.